good morning students today we are going to start a new chapter this chapter is a poem and the name of the poem is what is pink this poem is written by christina rossetti so we are going to read a poem what is pink by christina rossetti so let's look at the poem first what is pink a rose is pink by the fountain's brink what is red a poppy's red in its barley bed what is blue the sky is blue where the clouds float through what is white a swan is white sailing in the light what is yellow pears are yellow rich and ripe and mellow what is green the grass is green with small flowers between what is violet clouds are violet in the summer twilight what is orange why an orange just an orange so this is the poem you see this is a very small poem and this poem is talking about different colors we see that the various colors mentioned here are pink red blue white yellow green violet and orange so the poet asks what are the different colors okay she is asking about things different things which are of different colors and then again she is telling us what the things are now let's move on into the details of this poem so first the first two lines of the poem you see is what is pink so she asks first what is pink so what is pink a rose is pink see in this picture you have a pink rose so this is the first thing that we see she has written about so what is pink a rose is pink and where is this rose by the fountain's brink this picture this is a fountain and brink means at the side okay so this rose this pink rose is by the side of the fountain so what is pink a rose is pink by the fountain's brink this are the first two lines the next lines are what is red a poppy is red in its barley bed so next she asks about the thing which is red in color okay what is red a poppy is red poppy what is poppy poppy is a flower see the flowers in this picture these flowers are poppy okay so the name of this flower is poppy and it is red in color and where is the flower in its barley bed okay uh, barley means in its sandy bed so the flower is in a area where there is sand there are many poppy flowers so what is red and she asks about the thing which is red in color the thing is a poppy flower a poppy flower is red in color let's see the next two lines what is blue now she asks about the color blue the thing which is blue in color what is blue the sky is blue we all see the sky in the morning right and the sky is blue in color when it is sunny and the sun shines we see that the sky is blue in color and what do we see where the clouds float through and in this blue sky we see clouds floating by right so again we see the sky which is blue in color and there are the things which are the clouds so in the blue sky we see clouds floating by next what is white a swan is white sailing in the light see this picture okay this picture is the description of what this line means so first she asks what is white so what is white a swan is white what is swan this picture okay a swan is kind of a duck you have seen a duck 
A swan is kind of a duck. It is very big. It is very beautiful and very white in color. So a swan is white. And what is the swan doing? The swan is sailing in the light. So it is in a river or a pond. And there is the sun shining and there is so much light all around the swan that it looks as if the swan is sailing in the light. The swan is sailing in the morning light. So this picture shows us these two lines. Next, moving on to the next two lines. What is yellow? Now she asks, what is yellow in color? What is yellow? Pears are yellow. Pears See the picture here, these fruits, okay, pear is a kind of a fruit. So, this fruit, the name of this fruit is pear and pears are yellow. And these pears which are yellow, what kind of pears are they? They are rich, they are ripe and they are mellow. That means these pears are very juicy, they are very beautiful fruits, they are ripe, they are soft. Mellow means soft. So, these pears are ripe. They are yellow in color. They are very soft and very juicy and very sweet pears. Okay. So, what is yellow? Pears are yellow. Rich and ripe and mellow. So, now she talks about the color yellow and she mentions about pears. So, let's move on to the next two lines. What is green? The grass is green. With small flowers in between. So now she asks about the color green. And what is green in color? We all have seen it, right? Green grass. We have seen grass. And what do these grasses have? These grasses have small flowers in between them. See this picture? This picture shows us what she is talking about. She is talking about the green grass which has small flowers in between them. So, she is seeing the green grass with small flowers in them and she is telling us that the grass is green and it has small flowers in between. Now, the next part she asks, what is violet? Violet is again a color and now she talks about clouds are violet. But, we know that clouds are white in color, right? But she tells us that clouds are violet. So why are these clouds violet? You see in this picture. You can see in this picture. Okay. These clouds are violet in color. Why are these clouds violet? These clouds are violet in the summer twilight. So these clouds are violet because of the summer twilight. What is twilight? Okay. Twilight is the time of the evening. Amrajitake shondhe bela boli. हम जिसको शाम बोलते हैं, के शाम का टाइम, शोंधे बैला, this time is known as twilight. If you see, look at the sky at around 5 to 5.30 in the evening, you can see various colors, right? Sometimes the sky is orange, sometimes it is red, sometimes it is pink, sometimes it is violet. So, there are numerous colors that we can see in the evening. So, now she is talking about violet clouds. Because these clouds are reflecting the color of the summer twilight. The summer twilight which is violet shows us clouds which are violet. So what is violet? Clouds are violet in the summer twilight. So now let's move on to the next part. These are the last two lines of the poem and she asks, What is orange? Why? An orange? Just an orange. So, she says that what is orange in color? And then she says, why an orange? You know, right? An orange is a fruit and it is also a color. Right. So, you see this picture. This is the picture of an orange. You all have eaten oranges. We all love oranges, right? And they are also orange in color. So, she asks what is orange. Then she, then she says, it's an orange. And it's just an orange. A single orange is orange in color. So, in this poem, she talks about the various colors that we see around us and the various things which are very different in color. So, our world is a very colorful world we live in. Right. 
So that is the end of your poem. I will stop here.